Hello everybody and welcome to my December 2022 a book haul. So I went to the charity shops in Marlow and actually the ones in Wickham as well with my girlfriend Shay. Shout out to Shay. And I picked up a bunch of books. Dane reads. So I'm going to talk you through what I've got. Um, I have The Guest Cat by Takashi Hiraid. I know absolutely nothing about this. I picked this up because it was short um, and it was it had got a cat on it basically. Um, now I did hear my friend Neil said his book group read this and they all hated it to the point at which they were like handing around the book and laughing about how bad it was. And one of them went missing so they think maybe it was the one that ended up in the charity shop that I then bought. So I'm not particularly looking forward to getting to this now. We have Meridian by Alice Walker. Alice Walker is just one of those people who I want to read everything that she ever published. So um, this will actually only be my second of hers. We have The Secret Life of Bletchley Park by Sinclair Mackay. So this is non-fiction about some of the people who worked at Bletchley Park breaking the Enigma Code. Um, fascinating place. I've actually been to visit it with my mum. So I'm probably going to read this and then give it to my mum afterwards. Then we have Dishonesty is the Second Best Policy and Other Rules to Live By by David Mitchell. So this is the comedian David Mitchell, not Cloud Atlas David Mitchell. And uh, yes, I'm very much looking forward to getting to this. Mitchell is one of my favourite comedians. I mean, him and Robert Webb. I love the Mitchell and Webb look. I love Peep Show. Pretty much everything that they've done, I enjoy. So I know I'm going to enjoy this book. Okay, this one is actually one that I got on eBay, um, and this is Single Spies by Alan Bennett, and this is again just part of my ongoing effort to read everything that Alan Bennett's ever written. I don't know anything about it. Uh, he adapted his witty and touching television film about Guy Burgess. Oh, okay. So he's com com turned that into a one act play and then written a companion piece, A Question of Attribution, about Anthony Blunt. So this is two plays, right? Yeah. An Englishman Abroad and the Question of Attribution. Cool, okay, then some more from the charity shop. So I picked up One Summer, America 1927 by Bill Bryson. Again, I'm just slowly working through everything Bill Bryson's ever done. I got The Testaments by Margaret Atwood. So this is the sequel to The Handmaid's Tale. Been meaning to get to this for a while now, so I'm pretty excited I finally found a copy. Let me have another book by David Mitchell, but it's the other David Mitchell. It's um, the Cloud Atlas guy. So this is The Bone Clocks. Again, I know nothing about it, but Mitchell is one of those authors I want to read all of his stuff. So I'll get to this one soonish. I mean, it's a bit of a chunk. A lot of these are chunky, actually, but it's fine. I don't mind, like, I'm restocking my shelves, you know? And then finally, Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. So this is his latest. I've read The Martian and Artemis and enjoyed both of those. And I heard that this one is actually really good because uh, Artemis got a lot of mixed reviews and I quite liked it, so excited about this one. Hello everybody, I'm wearing my Udi slash Udi, I don't know how you pronounce it, um, and I have some books, I have what, six books here, I want a Herman Hesse or Herman Hess, again, I don't know how to say words, but I want a job lot of his books on eBay, so I'm going to show you what I got. So I got My Belief, The Journey to the East, The Prodigy, Peter Kamenzind, Pictor's Metamorphoses, and Damien and um, literally I got these I enjoyed uh, Steppenwolf so much that I thought let's read all of Herman Hess uh. Hello, guten tag, and greetings. Today I received Dune, The Heir of Caladan by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. Uh, this is the third in the latest uh, trilogy of prequels for Dune. This actually came out at the time of filming about three weeks ago. Pretty much came out when I ordered it, to be honest. Um, and I'm very excited. Oh, I'm, I'm ringing, am I? My mum's ringing me. Yes, anyway, I've got to go and get this, but I'm excited. Hello Hawley people, it's me. Uh, I have one book to haul for you today and that is The Seven Secrets of Awakening the Highly Effective Four Hour Giant Today. The Gang Writes a Self Help Book by Charlie Mack, Dennis, Sweet D and Frank. So this is an It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia book. Um, and this was given to me as a, a, a Christmas present from um, my girlfriend Shay. Very cool. To Jamie Nelson who's suing in heaven and Dooley who would have loved our party mansion. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting to this. It should be a lot of fun. Hello everybody, just the one book to show you today. I got this on eBay. It is Anna and Frogger, Completely Boo Boo by Anouk Lucar. Uh, so she is a French author. This one is actually translated into English. Um, but yes, I'm slowly working my way through everything that Anouk Lucar has done because I quite enjoy her uh, style as well. And so, um, yeah, I'm currently, because I'm down to my last French bedtime book. So I'm currently just buying a bunch of books that are on my French list. I'm actually kind of buying the um, English language ones first, just so that then um, 
I can finish the one remaining French book I have, you know, because it's a longie. But yes, I'm looking forward to getting to this. Hello, it's me. Shay is in my bedroom. Shay, say hi to YouTube. Hey. She says hey. Um, I have some books. So I got this in the post today. This is Frank Herbert's Dune, the graphic novel, book one. Adapted by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. Illustrated by Raoul Alain and Patricia Martin. I guess, I don't know, I think that's Spanish, not French, so I shouldn't use French accent there. Um, but yes, I've read all the Dune books now, so now all I have left is the graphic novel. I also have number two on its way to me, so very exciting. Then I read uh, Haunted, uh, sorry, didn't read, then I picked up Haunted Yuletide, edited by Jay and Julie Barnson. Um, and as you can see by the small amount of wrapping paper on this, this was uh, a Christmas gift to me. This was sent to me um, by my friend uh, Jana, Jana Brown, um, because she apparently edited a few of the stories in this. And she sent me this as a Christmas present because she knows that I like a little bit of horror. So thank you, Jana. And then I have Vorolin's Lair by J.B. Hilliard. This is book two of the Warminster series. He signed it, he wrote, Dane, this wouldn't be possible without you, my friend, in deepest gratitude, J.B. Hilliard. Um, I actually already have this. Oh, hello. I don't have a bookmark of it, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yes, I already have this because I bought it as soon as it came out because I, I edited this one. Uh, but yes, very cool to have my signed copy now. And now I have a spare. Okay, so... Um I got some Amazon vouchers for Christmas, so I spent them, as you do. Um, so I have a bunch of Alan Bennett here. I have The Madness of George III by Alan Bennett. I have The Complete Beyond the Fringe by Alan Bennett, Peter Cook, Jonathan Miller and Dudley Moore. And I have uh, The Writer in Disguise by Alan Bennett. So I literally don't know anything about what these are about. I just know that they're the final remaining Alan Bennett books that I have not read. Um, I do actually have, I think, some more on the way to me. But once they all arrive, it'll be all of the Alan Bennett books that I haven't read yet. I also got Jack Pumpkin Head of Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson. So this is book number 23 in the Wizard of Oz series. Started out reading this as a buddy read with Joel Swagman and at this point I am just stubbornly refusing to quit this series so I'm just going to keep reading till the end now. Um, so I got that. And then I got Caligula and Other Plays by Albert Camus. So this has also got Cross Purpose, The Just and The Possessed. All translated into English. Maybe one day I'll read them in French. We'll see. I think I'd struggle, to be honest. Um, I've never read any of Camus' plays before, but I like his fiction and I like his sort of philosophy. So, see how that goes. Hello, holy people. Um, I guess this is we're going to squeeze this in, even though I've already filmed my outro to this. But I got two more books in the post today. So uh, one of them is Alan Bennett Smut: Two Unseemly Stories. Um, yes, I don't know what stories are in it. I wonder if it says. Uh, the Greeting of Mrs. Donaldson and the Shielding of Mrs. Forbes. Um, so yeah, this is just part of my attempt to read all Alan Bennett. And as part of that, I also got The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham, adapted for the stage by Alan Bennett. So this is the stage play of The Wind in the Willows, which would be interesting because I've never read The Wind in the Willows. Um, so yes, got these. This might be all of the Bennett now. I don't know. I would have to check what I've got ordered. But yes, those are all of the books that I received in the month of December 2022. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.